If anyone's ever told you that brown women can't pull off blonde hair, they lied. Here I am in the flesh pulling it off and it's so fire. Today I've teamed up with Beauty Forever to bring you this gorgeous blonde highlight piano colored wig and I'm going to slay it from start to finish, beginner friendly. So if you're interested in seeing the tutorial, keep on watching. So this is our stunner right here. As I mentioned, she does come courtesy of Beauty Forever. And this is their TL412 colored human hair lace front wig. It's like a piano technique the way they did the blonde and brown colors. This is a look at the inside construction of the cap. It did come with the adjustable elastic band and it is a 13 by 4 body wave lace wig. Now that was a mouthful, but we're going to start off by cutting off just a little bit of the lace. Just enough so that I can see. Here is a look at the hairline. I wanted you guys to see every single detail of how the wig comes. The lace is so HD that it definitely shows my bald cap. So I'm going to show you how I tint that without doing the uh, bald cap method. I picked up these two extra shades of my favorite cream foundation from Ruby Kisses in two darker shades. I believe I've been using 14, so I picked up 15 and 16. And as you guys can see, the 15 was the perfect shade for my wig cap and you'll see before you could see that through and now it camouflages pretty nicely so now we don't have to do the bald cap method because honestly who has time for that shout out to my baby girl dakota this is my six year old she loves watching me do my hair and my makeup she's such a girly girl so she wanted a little bit of screen time here's what this wig looks like as a center part and then here is what it looks like as a curved side part i opted for the curved side Part, I felt like it just gave a little bit of extra oomph and a little bit of sex appeal. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp out this curved side part with my Dynamic Duo, which you guys already know is the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. I like my electric hot comb because it goes up to 500 degrees. And yes, I do use it on the 500 degree setting. And I'm sure to get every area around the lace, the side on the right or your left is it your left or your right you're right um i got it super flat on the left i want to keep the volume but i want like the edges to look super 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 snatched here i am just concealing my uh sideburns by using a little edge control to push them back since the hair is blonde you definitely don't want those to peek through Next, I'm going to take an eyebrow razor and just remove all of the excess lace. Remember, we moved, removed just a little bit of it, but now we want to remove the remainder. Be sure to cut off any extra lace, even if there is actual hair attached that goes around your ear. You don't want your wig to be bulky or like on top of your ear, so don't be afraid to cut around for a custom fit. Now we're going to begin the process of bonding it down. We are going for a glueless adhesive spray. This is my even in the color black and I'm starting off with the sideburn. So typically I start off at the center, but whenever I really want to use sideburns and I really want them to melt, I concentrate on that sideburn first and get it down exactly how I want it. And I get it to really melt nicely because this one is so flawless. I decided to add just a little light baby hair. I don't want it to be like thick and overbearing, but I definitely wanted the sideburns since my sideburns are black um i felt like it's a little bit more complimentary if this goes on top so you cannot see my natural black or dark brown hair and look how snatched and flawless that looks and then the second soup above that kind of marries the parting and it just kind of like makes it does make the sideburn not look too weird from here we can go ahead and tint the lace and i'm just using those same foundation uh creams First, I went in with the darker shade that I used on the lace, but as you guys can see, it was too dark. So I wanted it to actually look like skin. So I went back down to a 14 or the 14 palette, and this was the perfect one to kind of stamp out that parting and give the parting a, a good tint, but not too, too, too bright. And then I'm going in with the corresponding foundation powder to really go in and tint the hairline. I wanted to blend with my complexion and that definitely did a great job. Now here I am just smoothing out that opposite side. Although I did do the dynamic duo, I really did want to run the flat iron um, or the hot comb rather through this side I kind of wanted to keep that hump and that body in it but I really wanted to smooth it out so instead of using that electric hot comb on 500 degrees I just kind of went over top the whole hump and made the whole hump like flat and smooth 
but still keeping a little bit of that body if that makes any sense now i decided for wand curls as i did mention this is a body wave wig so the texture is beautiful in its own i did comb it out so it's a lot more fluffy but you can definitely go in with some of your curly girl products and kind of just you know go for a wet and wavy like light wave beach look um but for me i wanted to turn up so we're using a wand curler and i believe this one is from the brand remington i get it i got it from target for maybe about 25 bucks um i'll have it in the description box they also have it on amazon and it's super affordable um, and it definitely gets the job done so even when I did not know how to do curls and you guys know I've been improving but I'm still no pro so no matter what I got going on um, I can come up with a good curl pattern with this this wand curler and that's what I love about it because you guys already know sometimes you'll use um, a curling iron and you do your whole head and then you comb the curls out and they all drop because you don't know what you're doing I did this side first and then I did this second half like the back off camera i'm gonna set that with some flexible hold hairspray which is a bit has been my favorite hairspray lately and then i did the opposite side off camera the flexible hold hairspray is definitely the goat because it helps the curls to last a lot longer without the crunch of like a typical hairspray and here I am just combing it out with a wide to comb. And you guys see I have all the definition. Even though those curls did not look perfect at first, once I combed it out, look how beautiful uh, it looks, how much body it has, and how flawless it is. I'm absolutely in love with the color, the texture, and everything about it. Here's a look into my package and what came with my wig. First of all, this is Beauty Forever's box as well as their dust bag. The dust bag is a forever thing. You always keep it for your wig as a home this is some of their true scalp tape you can use to kind of conceal um, your lace a melt belt an HD wig cap um, and then also this little mesh bag which you guys know is like a little free goodie bag and inside you do have another HD wig cap set as well as um, another just cheetah print melt belt a pair of eyelashes and then you also have this kabuki brush which is perfect for travel and that's pretty much it. I'll have all the details on this wig in the description box. Again, she comes from Beauty Forever. She comes in a body wave as well as a water wave texture. You can get her in lens 14 through 22, I believe, or actually 28 on their site. So you can definitely customize this one to your liking. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!